We're live. Francis Ngannou. He's calling out everybody. He's calling out Brock Lesnar. Apparently, allegedly, there's a possibility that uh, since Brock's WWE contract is coming to an end, Brock might switch over to the UFC one last time for one last show. And um, obviously, people want that payday. Who wouldn't? You know, it's a decent match for Francis. Assuming he can get his jiu-jitsu up in the time between the fight and now. We'll see. But another proposition that uh, I've heard recently from uh, the Joe Rogan experience was uh, Anthony Joshua versus Francis Ngannou. Why Anthony Joshua? Allegedly, supposedly. Dana White offered Joshua a contract worth half a billion dollars. Now, for the money, if I was Anthony, of course I would consider it. Hell, I'd accept. Problem is, his style of fighting, when translated to MMA, is sort of effective, especially since he's a heavyweight. You know, the heavyweights. Is a little less technique, you know, because you can power through certain things. The thing is, I don't think he's going to have a great time in MMA. Why? There's more skills he has to learn. He has to learn how to grapple. He has to learn how to defend against takedowns. He has to learn how to clinch, Muay Thai clinch. He has to learn how to kick. He has to learn how to defend against every single thing I just mentioned right now. So... I don't see that happening, but because the money was so outrageous, I think Joshua might actually do it. We don't know if he will, time will tell, only time will tell. But what was strange is the proposition that Joe Rogan gave. Francis Ngannou versus versus Anthony Joshua. I don't that that I understand from a hype perspective, but um that that's a bad fight for Francis, man. He's just not that experienced with his hands like that. But if you gave him somebody like Lesnar and then you took him to a place like Tenth Planet Jiu Jitsu, or, you know, you gave him a straight up grappler to train him, or you take him to like AKA, I think that that fight would be spectacular, man. I think Lesnar would have a hard time fighting somebody who's naturally strong as opposed to his Mexican supplement strong. I think that um, that fight could be one of the biggest, if not the biggest, in UFC history. I mean, Francis Ngannou's hype hasn't died despite the fact that he lost against Stipe Miocic. Ngannou can do it, man. I really think he can. Provided he, you know, he finds a training camp that is grappling intense, you know, aka, you know, American top team. Somebody who is more focused on the the grappling of MMA more so than the striking. I think he could do it. But uh, that's that's a hell of a test for Ngannou, man. And for Lesnar, we, we all saw what strikers did to him. We saw what... Alistair Owen did to him, we saw what Kane did to him, we saw that, you know, there's certain things that you can't outmuscle, and that's technique, you know, so, yeah, let me know what you think, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.